By adding animations to your PowerPoint presentation, you can put more emphasis on certain elements. And in the meantime, you can treat your audience to some surprising and fun visuals. All of what you need can be found inside of the Animations tab in the ribbon. To unlock all of these options in this tab, you'd need to select the element you want to animate first. Once you've done that, you're ready to select any animation you'd like. If you don't see one that catches your interest, click the arrow at the bottom right of the panel to expand it. You can now see several categories of animations you can choose from. You can choose an entrance animation, an emphasis animation, and an exit animation, as well as a motion path animation. Once you click on an animation you like, it starts to automatically preview on your slide. Did it go by too fast? You can always preview your animation by clicking the preview button to the left of the ribbon. Animations usually have more options that you can change to really tailor it to your liking, like the direction, for example. To do this, click on Effects Options. You may have also noticed that after we added an animation to this element of the slide, a numbered box appeared. This box will correspond to an animation you applied. The more numbered boxes you have next to an element, the more animations it has applied to it. To add more animations, click the Add Animation button in the ribbon. You can add as many animations as you like. And you can select and adjust those animations individually by clicking the numbered boxes until you find it. The numbers inside of the boxes will also determine the order in which the animations play. If you want to change that order, you can use the Reorder Animation pane in the ribbon. Right next to that, you can find some helpful options that will allow you to change the timing of your animations. You can change how an animation starts, for example by clicking, or by starting with the previous animation, or after the previous animation. You can also change the duration of an animation and change the delay of an animation if you don't like the pacing of the chain of animations you have now created. An animation can also be triggered by certain actions. For example, you can have an animation trigger by clicking another element on the slide. Or you can even add bookmarks to an audio or video file on your slide and have those bookmarks trigger the animations. Really powerful stuff. The Animation Pane is another very powerful tool that you can use to manage all of the animations you have assigned on your slide. From here, you can reorder all of these animations, change their duration by dragging the left and right side of these boxes, and you can even see more options by clicking the arrow to the right of the animation. You can also very easily tell what kind of animations these are by looking at their icon and colors. Green is for entrance animations, yellow is for emphasis animations, and red for exit. And the icons next to the order numbers will tell you how an animation will be triggered. You can also preview your animation work right here from this pane by clicking the Play All button at the top. A line will appear that will scroll through all of these animations and they will be shown on the slide. The Play All button will change to Play From once you click on an animation in the animation pane so you can play the slide from there. Last but certainly not least, you can easily copy and paste animations that you like from one element to another so you get some visual consistency in your presentation. Select the element you want to copy from, and then click Animation Painter. Then click on the element you want to copy the animation to. And there you go! Now they both have the same animation properties. And this is how you add animations to elements on your slide, and how to properly adjust their settings to get the most out of them. Now go ahead and try it out for yourself to make your presentations really stand out from the rest. Good luck!